Hey, what's up? Glad to see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow. We're bringing you all the tech all the time. Now, today we're going to bring you guys some technology that I know that my PC fans are going to go, uh, eh, uh, and that's this new iPad Air. Now, the reason I got this thing is my buddy over at TLD got a hold of this thing, and I was like, man, that seems pretty cool. And after looking at the new Note 10.1 from Samsung, I really like that tablet quite a bit. It's cool, has a lot of the same type of features, but I really rely on stuff that does music stuff. You guys all know we're always doing music stuff. And with that particular unit, I couldn't do music. Now with this one, I can use GarageBand and me and Jesse, the guitar player, or me and Jonathan, we can exchange all of our ideas back and forth. So that's why I went with this one. Now this thing only weighs a pound. It comes in the market at about $499 and they go up, you know, in price as you're going along. This one right here has an A7 processor, which is a dual core processor, which actually kicks ass on a lot of the quad core processors. That's right. Just like, you know, the eight core AMD wasn't beating the Intel quad core. Well, this is the same type of deal with optimization and all that. This thing's apparently kicking ass in all kinds of programs. Now, I just borrowed the thing. I thought you guys might want to see it because some people out there are going to be saying, hey, I'd like a tablet. I'm a musician. I want to do that. 9.7 inch screen. The resolution of this bad boy is 2048 by 1536. Now that's nothing really new. They've had the retina technology and all that around for a long time, but this thing's like really, really thin. Up on top, you have the power button. You also have the headphone jack. Over on the side, you have the mute button and you have the volume controls. On the bottom, we also have a lightning connector, which is not new, but something that is new are the dual speakers that are located on the bottom. Now, as far as camera goes, there's a rear mounted five megapixel camera that actually shoots at 1080p and a front camera that shoots at 720p. Now, if you happen to be curious about how that 1080p camera looks in video format, here it is right here. Here's me and the buddy of the dog in the backyard. He's chilling like a little villain and this is what it looks like. So. You guys tell me, good, bad, or otherwise. Let's jump back to the video. Now, this thing is also very, very thin, 7.5 millimeters. The A7 processor that's in this, they only use this processor in the iPhone 5S, and this one's even overclocked a little bit above that one, hence why it's supposed to be so very, very powerful. Like I said before, if somebody out there is looking for a pad and you're a musician and you wanna be able to share your ideas around with everybody else, there's so many things out there that you can go buy and just stick on a table, plug in and plug directly into this, or or into your iPhone. Now, like I said, I don't have an iPhone at all. I have my new Note 3 and I love that. I'm not switching that at all. But as far as my pad goes, I'm really leaning towards this one. It's ergonomic. It's lightweight. The screen is very, very beautiful. Now, one thing missing, there is no fingerprint reader on this and I could rightly give a shit about that because it means nothing to me, a fingerprint reader. In fact, you guys saw the video we were joking around about it. People went crazy. They thought we were actually showing people how to hack the damn thing, but no, we weren't doing that. We were joking around about cutting, you know, Kevy's thumb off. That's what it's about. But you know, I like this thing and something new, the color. I know you guys are going to totally make fun of this. Believe me, me and Anthony totally mocked Jonathan on this one. They call this one Space Gray. Yeah, well, someone was smoking something. They were outer space when they were naming it. Because to me, you know, looks kind of silver. But hey, it's not. It's new, you know, Space Gray. Now, last but not least, before I bounce out of here, I asked those guys like how long their battery life was, and they said this thing's lasting about 10 hours. So if you're actually you know, up and working more than 10 hours in one space, hey, thumbs up for you, Hatter. But me, I'm you know, maybe seven, eight hours at the most. So in my normal work day, this would work for me all day long. I could charge till the next day and be up and going. Like usual, I wanna hear your guys' comments on this down below. Personally, I'm looking forward to trying this thing out and exchanging my songs with other people out there. Like I said, if you're somebody who just totally hates on Apple products and just want to hate on them to hate, you can go ahead and leave your comments below, but if they're too crazy, we'll probably just get rid of them because we like a nice family fun clean site. Well, somewhere right in between, I guess. Anyways, I'm Elric. Peace out. If you like this video and you guys would like to see more on this, let me know. I will just bring you guys my first looks and impression on it, and that's about it. Also, if you're not subscribed and you want to do so, well then, hey, hit that sub button down there. There's also the like button. You guys know what to do. Hell, I'm out of here.